I think one of the hardest things about being a parent must be Christmas morning when you spend all this time, money, and effort making this day so magical, and then you look down at your child with those beautiful blue eyes that you hope resemble yours, <laughs> and they spend the whole day thanking Santa. <laughs> you know that disappointment that parents feel in that moment? That's exactly how doctors feel whenever you thank God. <laughs> Mr. Darcy, we are delighted to announce that your cancer has gone into remission. Oh, oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> what? No, sorry, she's funny. I just couldn't see his name anywhere on this chart. Uh, <laughs> can see my name right at the top there, Dr. Michaels. Sat with you through two and a half months of chemotherapy. You're welcome, by the way. Dr. Connor's over there. She spent six hours kind of tumor out your lung. Uh, got the names of all the wait staff, all the nurse staff here. Can't seem to find the Lord's name. <laughs> yes, but, 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 but the Lord sent you. <laughs> I don't think he did. He certainly didn't chip in for that medical degree. In fact, if I remember correctly, you came to me, I diagnosed you, and then I specified the treatment. In fact, if I cast my memory even further back, he's the one that gave you cancer. <laughs> Why? Maybe because you're an ungrateful fuck. <laughs> uh, thank you. I told that joke uh, in America one time. Hmm? <laughs> uh, not big fans. I overheard a man complaining about that joke afterwards to a member of staff. Word for word, this is what he said. That boy is awful. That boy is disgusting. He is exactly what is wrong with this world. You can make fun of the blacks. You can make fun of the queers. You can even make fun of the colored ones. But nobody makes fun of Jesus. One of the great things about having you here is that I get to tell a farm joke. <laughs> now, first, I need a setting, but um, uh, Rick, uh, you're from Kansas, right? You bet. Okay, this takes place in Kansas. Uh, there was an old Kansas farmer there. He had a piece of creek bottom land that had never been developed at all. It was all rocks and brush and all messed up. And he started in on it, clearing it, the underbrush and hauling away the rocks, and then cultivating the soil there. And he planted a garden, everything from vegetables on to corn. and and uh, it really became a garden spot, and he was pretty proud of what he'd done. So one Sunday morning in church after the service, he asked the preacher if he wouldn't stop by to have a look. Well, the preacher arrived, and he took one look, and he said, oh, this is wonderful. He said, these are the biggest tomatoes I've, I've ever seen. Praise the Lord. He said, those green beans, that squash, those melons, he said, the Lord really has blessed this place. And look at the height of that corn. He said, the God has really been, been good. And the old boy was listening to all this, and he was getting more and more fidgety. And finally, he blurted out, Reverend, I wish you could have seen it when the Lord was doing it by himself. 